I thank the organizers for inviting me and I am particularly happy that I am speaking immediately after the previous session because some of the points which the ministers made in the previous session are very relevant uh, for this session as also for my speech. Secondly, I was asked by the organizers uh, particularly to speak on the free trade areas uh, and then link them with the speech. Now, to go to the background of the international economic scene, the WTO believes in national treatment for all firms and most favored nation to all the members uh, of the WTO. And then to have free trade areas actually goes against the philosophy uh, of the most favored nation to all the WTO members. If, if, if there are some nations which are more favored than the most favored, then obviously there is no free trade area. So there is a contradiction in the free trade area. And I will... This free trade areas, I think Jagdish Bhagavati calls it a spaghetti bowl. <laughs> spaghetti bowl of, uh, of free trade areas. It's very difficult to find out who is having a free trade with whom. But then why did the whole spaghetti bowl start? Now this is something which is, which is important. The, it was an inherited thing by the World Trade Organization because the European Union was already there and that created the kind of a spaghetti and everybody else cannot be stopped. It, it was there. It, I think we'll spend half a minute to find out why the European Union came in the first place and what lessons it has for the Asian Union. There was a very influential book by Shriver who was an economic advisor to General de Gaulle. And that book is called American Challenge. In that book he, saw, he said, Americans are taking over every industry in Europe, one after another, and Europe will become bankrupt. Now here is an invader who is invading Europe, taking over almost every industry. Why is it? What is it Europe doesn't have, which America has? Size. America is huge country, uh, which is equal to entire Europe. And this huge size gives them an advantage to create multinationals which can invade. Now Europe also if we can create a size, because we have small, small countries, Japan, France, Germany, Italy, but they cannot have a large multinational. So if we have a European market, common European market, we can also create European firms which can compete with American firms. And that is how the European Union came in. So that we won't have a Dutch market, we will not have a Belgian market or a French market, we'll have a Europe market. And there will be relocation of industries and this can be a real challenge to the United States. That is how it came. But much later WTO came and you can't get rid of the European Union, you can't get rid of ASEAN, you can't get rid of several other things. So the spaghetti bowl continued. And then we also continued in the same spaghetti bowl.